Greetings family, Bomani Tamba here and we are live in Dakar, Senegal and family we at Chez Fatou. This is actually the last restaurant that we had dinner in in Dakar last year. It was beautiful. I mean, I love the energy, the flow uh, of just how things are. And then I got Mr. Bomani Dakari here. He's excited. He actually remembers this and this was two years ago. Uh, so family, uh, this is our first dinner which we call our welcome dinner and we're ready family. Mr. Bomani Dakari, do you remember Shea Fatou? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. You sure? Turn around and say hello to the people. People, people, people. So family, this is Al Madiz. And last time we was in Senegal and Gambia, which is 2021. Yes, family, 2021 and it's 2023. So we had to skip 2022. Didn't have enough people, but now we're here strong. It's 16 of us strong. And this is the Almadi's area, and we are going to just connect together as a people and have a great welcome dinner. Yes, family, a great welcome dinner. And welcome to Senegal, and welcome to tropical paradise in West Africa. Yes, yes, this is our environment, and you know, there you go, man. That's that's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. See how beautiful it look. You know, you look at you look right there, and all you see is just the be beautiful waves. Yes, yes. Greetings, are cool. We, we, we have you, more of those people here. <laughs> no, no, no. The other place, it, it's yo, worse. it's like they, it, it's, it was like it's like they run the place. Like it was like like. You know what I mean? Oh, I can I can deal with some of them, but not like 90% of them running the place. Oh, okay. Because next thing I'll be throwing them over in the ocean. Oh, <laughs> you know, we're all about peace, man. You know, I, you know, you know what I'm saying? Ever since last year, I declared world peace. Momani declared world peace, but you know, but we have to get a peace in order for there to be peace. Other than that, there'll be no peace. <laughs> Oh, you never got to be on camera? This is my wonderful sister from Brooklyn, New York. I, and I grew up in Brooklyn, family. And this is my sister. I want to say I appreciate you. I appreciate the love of, you know, of, you know being welcoming me from Jamaica to Brooklyn, New York. As a matter of fact, I had an auntie named Inez also. Oh, wow. Okay. It's lovely. I love Senegal. I wish I'd come sooner. And uh, it was, you know, and you, you've been to Ghana, which yeah, is the I'm most important thing. You've been to Ghana with us, yeah. and now you're in the other part of West Africa. Yep, and I'm looking forward to next year to Liberia. And then you're looking forward to the, the Gambia coming up in a few days. Oh, yeah, the Gambia in a few days. Oh, yes, absolutely. We'd love for you to join us in Liberia. Liberia is like our greatest, greatest, greatest investment as black people. I mean, our ancestors did a great job building a country now. I can't wait to see you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. My good brother, Carla, has been telling me updates because he's in Liberia right now. And so we're all going to be together in Liberia a year from now. Okay, see everybody there. You ready for it, you for real? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Well, okay. well definitely, my sister, definitely. Yes, welcome to Shea Fatou. This was when we had our last dinner in Senegal. So now this is our first dinner in Senegal. Don't you love it? Yeah. Love it, love it, love so, that, so, you know, I, I know we had to make a few stops. I was like, yo, I, I'm going to remember this place. I'm going to find it. <laughs> and this is it right here. And, and as a matter of fact, this is where we had our buffet right here in this little area. Oh no, we're right here, all right here. They're gonna hook it up for us. Oh, uh, the daytime? It's Shea Fatou for lunch. We're gonna be in this area for three days. All we're doing is lunch and dinner in this entire area. So you're gonna be filling the area, Al Madi's family. So yes, family, all my D's. Let me show you what I love about this area. All right. Now this is not a beach where you want to go swimming, but it's perfect for the the vibes, the energy. And we got some of these other locations along Al Madis. And so what you see is this right there on this um in the Dakar Peninsula. You have restaurants, clubs, bars, nightlife, energy, social energy. Uh, you know, it's this beautiful thing. As a matter of fact, you see uh, a few families here with their children. They're playing in the back area, enjoying themselves. 
Uh, you have people that's having a dining with their family. So this is a, uh, a hotel that's, as a matter of fact, this is a restaurant that's literally, literally just catered to us and making sure that, you know, we have a nice little energy to risk, let people know that we're in Africa and we're in tropical paradise and it's just great. Yes, love the outfits, love the outfits. <laughs> yes, love the outfits, that is what's up. Hey, there you go, you're always excited, yo. I think you're one of the most positive people I know. <laughs> Dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bomani, hey, you're rocking the shirt, man. New York City, you know, that's where I grew up at, right? Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't try to go swim out there, son. You see all those rocks? You can go there and kind of chill and relax and kick back and enjoy you now the energy of the ocean. Well, this is the west coast of Africa. We're on a peninsula, the furthest peak of West Africa on the main African continental land. And then we come up here, you know, you know, we got our folks at the bar, you know, they're doing it right. You know, we're going to definitely get into some tropical drinks, tropical flavor, like we're somewhere in Montego Bay or Negril, Jamaica. As a matter of fact, this drink that my brother got right here, I got to find out what drink this is. I can tell that one is a mojito and this one look like, I'm trying to see what drink this is, my brother. What drink is that? Cocktail Rio. Cocktail Rio. Cocktail Rio. Cocktail Rio. And that is a mojito, right? Capital Brazil, Rio. Oh, yo, well, brother, we're gonna get ready to order some drinks up there. So, family, this is the bar, and uh, let me show these drinks again right here. This is the kind of drink I like right here. Tropical paradise. You no, know, we're gonna enjoy it to the fullest. That's the only way we can do it, family. You now you work hard, and you know you deserve to just have a getaway, have your own brothers and sisters. Now, accommodate you, take care of you, make sure you're good to go, make arrangements for you. And family, that's what we do on a journey of a lifetime. Yes, my brother. Okay, I'm gonna get y'all some more menus. That's a big menu. Hopefully they have at least half of the stuff on the menu. <laughs> that was no joke, man, we laughed. <laughs> I'll be right back with some menu. All right, family, uh, the, the job as a tour director, tour organizer, organizer, and a tour organization is never done. My sister, can I get some me menu, menu? Five. That's Shea's for two. Yes, Shea's for two. Uh, is this one menu? I need, I need about five. I got a whole group of people right there. Oh, uh, they don't have enough. Uh, even if it's two more menu. Yes, Abdul, you don't have space there. You don't. I'm gonna join you. I'm just. Oh, cause you're breaking it fast, right? <laughs> I give. I give. All right, so family, if, if it's safe now, it's after seven. It's safe for you to eat. For those who practice, what's up, man? You take a picture of the moon. <laughs> I look nice. That look nice. So, so everybody that's breaking their fast for Ramadan, it's all good. It's after seven, break the fast, all good. I'm learning these things also. Mr. Bomani, son, come on, man. You see this menu right here? See this menu right here, son? Mr. Bomani, the curry. Hey, your head is in the way. Don't, don't you like this menu right here? They got kitty cocktail. Hey, cool down. They got kitty cocktail. Don't you like it? Let me flip. Let me flip to the next page. See what they have for like the entrees. You want a flag beer? Okay, absolutely. Um, I'll get a waitress here to get us some flag beer and then I'll make some space so we can sit down. Yeah, yeah, we can all... sit 
Um, so I'm hoping that everybody likes the menu. It's something diverse and nice to get you what you want. Oh, nobody speaks French? No. I thought in America they taught French in high school. I honestly did. I thought they did. I learned Spanish. <laughs> Um, it's like 15, 20 bucks, but it, it averaged out. So as long as everybody don't order, you know, it, it usually it, it always works out over the last several years. Okay, so I think today you spent like 15 bucks, and that was like not what was that, 95? What was? Yeah, the other places for some reason very expensive, but these are all reasonable. Oh, okay. all, all, every single last thing you see on here. Okay. I don't think there's anything that's over budget. Oh, all right. So you just order your um, entree, um, and then order your. You know, a non-alcoholic beverage and you're good. So the only thing that we have to add in is just the alcoholic beverage or mocktails or cocktails. Let me go up to the bar and get a cocktail. Yes, sir. So outside of that? So, yeah. So this curry is, what is that, Paulette? Paulette? Oh, yes, and then I guess they have the English version here. So it's a curry. You know what I'm going I had another person that was supposed to translate for me. Let me just get Abdul so he can come and translate. Okay. Uh, because everything is, you know, everything is in French, right? Yeah. All the museum we go to, French, French. Okay. So family, uh, we are here and yes, all of us are from America. So we are not used to seeing French on the menu, but it's a part of coming to Senegal. It's a French speaking country. And if you speak Wolof or Mandinka, then you're good also. But we're limited based on the fact that we speak English, so that's why we have, uh, you know, organizers here to help us. Uh, I just want to find out who speaks good English as far as the waitress and the waitress, because we have people down there that needs help. Because yeah, everything yeah. is in French. No one speaks French. Everything. Okay, I'm, I'm go, let, let it come over. Oh, they all speak French. No English. So, family, we take those things for granted. That's why this is the only French-speaking country I have on on our on our schedule, because I, I can only do so much of it, and it's only for four days. <laughs> uh, the dog. Oh, is this the English menu? Oh. So, what, so family, we're gonna get set, get our orders in, and then uh, we're going to enjoy our beautiful dining, and then we're gonna connect back with you on this incredible, wonderful journey of a lifetime experience in this beautiful country, Senegal, and we're here in the city of Dakar and here in the town area of al Madiz, right here on the ocean. So yes, family, the journey continues. <laughs> 